Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Holy professional record of 27 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Body out of Zagreb, Croatia, Mirko Pohar. And now we can see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holy professional record of 26 wins, 2 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. Pierre! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now and go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating. You ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Oh, he missed that kick. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Well, he got his head snap back there, Joe. The straight punch lands flush to the head. And again, he's just not doing things defensively that you want to see. Move that upper body. Get that head off of the center line. Right now, he's just leaning right into his opponent's range. All of those are blocked. Look at that, he's timing that jab. He's looking for that left hand, not there. Mirko Krokop gets caught by the inside leg. And that one certainly found the target. Krokop's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Under three minutes to go in round one. Nice kick to the body. Effective punch there by Krokop. How about that chin? That one hurt. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, he tagged him! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Oh, he might be out. What a fight so far. Oh, save 
by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. And here is one more massive punch he lands that really stuns. And as you can see by these clips, some devastating damage in that round. Calm down, calm down. Breathe. Brittany Palmer here doing her thing as usual. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Krokop is simply a devastating striker. He has huge power in his punches, and his left high kick is a thing of legend. He has an extremely strong base, and some of the... Oh! He's hanging on here, but he is in big, big trouble. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Oh! That one hurt him badly. And there is the kick. That one checked by George St. Pierre. Oh! Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there. But as he leans forward in trying to get into his own striking range, he's going to pay the price there to the body. Got to be careful. You don't want to eat too many of those power hooks downstairs. Right hand upstairs. GSP gets caught by the inside leg kick. Oh, that oh! He got tagged. He's got him hurt here. Really swung everything into that kick, but fell short. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Establishing the jab here. Oh, he's hurt again! He's trying to stay out. Oh, oh, here. He's Back up to his feet. Boom! Shin to the dome. Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight. He has been a headhunter at times in his career, but at least at this point, Joe, you gotta think it would behoove him to start mixing things up and work some shots to the body. Prokop's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Under one minute now remains in round two. Oh, look at that. Tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. He hurt him again. He's in trouble right now. Oh, he's stunned again. Back up to his feet. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, head kick. head kick. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. Here's a devastating kick that results in a knockdown. Take a seat and slow it down. Slow it down. Deep breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay. I need you to calm down. Thank you very much, Ariane Celeste. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third oh. round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down. Whoa! Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Whoa, head 
kick. Constantly a moving target. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, oh that one appeared to stun him. He's got to be careful there. Don't rush in. Big shots. Hard left hand. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh, what a leg kick. How about that chin? I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, misses with the jab. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Nice leg kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Krokop. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Fainting. Nice jab by George. Trying to double up on that jab. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. He's got to be careful here. Oh, that's a big block, Joe. He tagged him again. He's hurt. He's in a lot of trouble. Punch coming. It's blocked. GSP going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, we heard him again. He's got to be careful here. He's clearly in trouble. Oh! Oh! What a leg kick. Second. Oh! Entertaining scrap so far. Oh, what a way to end the round. He got stunned by a huge shot there just before you heard the horn. So he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. Let's take a look at that again. And here's a devastating blow that almost ends this fight. Ariane Celeste in the building. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Absolutely. That one hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Oh, that cut on the nose really becoming a factor now. It's only getting worse. Pouring blood out here. Big shot to the liver. He's stunned. He's hurt. Oh, this might be it. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Prokop's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Back to the jab now, no good. He got tagged there. He missed with that jab attempt there. 
Man, Show, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. And he connects there. St. Pierre gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Just misses with the right. Pretty good jab there, Joe. GSP gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, it looked like it did stun him a little bit. He got hurt bad. Oh, he tagged him! for the knockout victory. Well, Joe, you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. And here we see it again. Ba-boom! So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. We go back inside the octagon for the official decision. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mirko. So Mirko Krokop still getting it done and still getting it done with style points. A lot of people wondered how would he handle this type of matchup. He handled it with flying colors here tonight. And Mirko Krokop still very much a relevant contender in one of the UFC's deepest divisions.